Let's say you're working on an isometric tile map, and you'd like to animate a single tile moving around. So you create a Sprite 2D, apply the same texture that you did on the tile map, animate the movement, and, well, you get some weird layering issues. What's going on here? Hi, I'm Brian, and today I'll explain to you why this is occurring, how the render ordering works in Godot, and how to fix this so that everything displays nicely. Let's get into it. So when you first start with 2D scenes in Godot, you quickly become aware that there's a defined order that nodes are rendered in. The easiest one to see is the order of the scene tree. By default, nodes are rendered from the top of the scene tree to the bottom, which means that nodes at the top of the scene tree are rendered behind the nodes at the bottom. But let's say we want to more directly control our ordering, like with our example. What options do we have to work with? Well, the first option we have is the Z-index. Nodes with a higher Z-index will render on top of nodes with a lower Z-index. If you don't change this value, then all of these values are essentially equal. Y-sort is next. Y-sort is typically used on isometric tile maps like this one here. Unless you explicitly enable Y-sort, this doesn't get used. But if you're working with an isometric tile map, chances are you want this enabled. Finally, we have the scene tree hierarchy that we looked at before. Now, one exception to these rules are canvas layers. Canvas layers don't have a Z index and they don't have Y, sorry. Instead, they use a layer order. The default 2D scene has a layer order of zero and canvas layers by default have a layer order of one. Positive numbers will render on top of your 2D scene and negative numbers will render underneath. Knowing this, let's see how this plays out on an isometric tile map. If you'd like to follow along, you can use the sample project in the description below. You can use the before scene to see the initial problem and the after scene to see the solution. In our scene, the tiles aren't on a canvas layer, and their z-index is the same since we haven't changed those values. Our tile sort has y-sort enabled, as does the layer we're working with. The first key point to note is that our sprite is a direct child of the tile map. So it's correctly positioned in the scene tree so that when the y-sort will determine when it's rendered. If we animate it though, we can see that the display is off. So why is this occurring? Well. If we move the sprite on the y-axis, well then the y-sort changes, and that means the rendering order changes. Not good, that's why we get the clipping there. Our solution to this is to wrap the node we want to animate in a node 2D, and use that new node to position our sprite with the correct y-sort. With our node 2D set, we can move the sprite wherever we want, and everything will display properly. Y-sort looks at the position of each tile placed on the y-axis, combined with the y-sort origin of the tile on the tile set, and then draws those in ascending order. Tiles with a lower y-set sort will be drawn first, and so will be behind tiles with a higher y-sort. The really key point here is that y-sort only impacts the direct children of the tile map, not the entire hierarchy. So if we had a grandchild of our moving tile sprite 2D here, this gets rendered based on its parent, which is a child of the tile map. I hope this has helped you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.